All right, so we've got the transmission off of here and the clutch. All automatic clutch stuff from the scooter. So this small ring set, uh, pulley set, came from the engine. And then on the back wheel here, I was mounted this whole mess of stuff. So I had to get some, into some crazy shenanigans involving a torch to remove some things that were rusted on pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is a centripetal clutch. And it goes in there. And so that spins around real fast. And when it does, I guess these clutch plates, by their own, their own momentum, uh, they go outward because they get thrown out when they spin around. And then they press against the inside of this thing. And that drives the wheel. Um, now, so the motor spins this thing around, 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 which spins this, and then there's this big, fabulous spring here. And so what that big, fabulous spring does is it pushes these plates together. So this is pressed on there, and I guess when the belt is under a lot of tension, it pulls itself deeper in here uh, against the force of the spring. So the spring compresses, whoop, and this thing comes up this way. And that makes these two parts of the, the pulley come apart, which makes the belt sit lower, deeper inside the pulley, like that, right? And so when it does that, it gears down. Um, this pulley is driven, so that way if we pull closer to the, the axle here. It, uh, wait a minute, it doesn't gear down, that would gear it up. It'd gear it up. Hmm. <laughs> and when it's in this position, that should gear it down. Now, that doesn't quite make sense to me, why under more tension it would gear up. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm confused. Um, also what confuses me is why this section would have its own adjustment for gearing, or whatever it does, and this section would not. I would think that they'd both have to be geared in order to maintain consistent belt tension, unless the bottom would just get all, like, floopy. Um, and it would deal with its tension that way. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, and maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> because I'm not building a scooter, I'm building a pedal bike. And so I have this action here. And what I want to do is have this thing be driven, but for this adjustment to happen manually. So I think what I might do, instead of having a spring on here pushing this in, I might have um, a thrust bearing. A thrust bearing. So this can be on here, and I can have a bearing pushing on here with um, just a stick or a pipe or something. Something to, to press this down in an adjustable way. And then the belt tension will widen it up, widen it out when, uh, when I relieve the pressure on here. Yeah. Now that still leaves the question of what I do with the the belt tension here to keep the belt from slipping, um, or rather here um, on the front uh, the front set of pulleys. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up doing something similar with this one and have them controlled by the same mechanism, so when this one goes in, the other one goes out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's all for now.